Valancourt Folcott, since 1984, has been making high quality Christmas, Halloween, and spring collectibles in our Sutton, Massachusetts studios. We use our collection of 3,000 antique chocolate or ice cream molds, and based upon Judy Valancourt's designs, we create a high quality figurine. We've been in three locations. The first in our home, uh, in fact, in our dining room, and I guess the next big move was to the basement of our house. And even in those instances, we had probably six or eight people working two shifts. Our second big move was really to a, a second location, which was an 1820 farmhouse, where we could then incorporate a retail store on the first floor and our painting studios we maintained on the second floor. And then lastly, we moved here to the Manchog Mills, which allowed us to have everything under one roof. Judy started to create the Santas in our cellar in 1984. At the time, I was running a computer company and soon realized that the little hobby business she started was a major business. So the first challenge that really came about was realizing we needed to treat it as a business. I resigned my position in the computer company. We immediately had to get lines of credit, so we had to create a business plan, bring the banks in, which was quite interesting when you're sitting in the dining room of your house creating Santa Clauses to bring in major banks looking for business. So the first challenge was just creating the financial plan to make the whole thing work. Generally, an artist won't have, won't come with both the business uh, end of it as well as the artistic viewing. So it's made a good partnership. If he stays in his department and I stay in mine, it works out quite well. In a family business, sometimes the children come in as the favorite prince. In this case, Luke comes in with an internet expertise that has enabled us to reshape our business one more time where our traditional businesses evolved so dramatically, 80% of our small mom and pops have gone out of business. And today, Luke has gotten over 20% of our businesses now on the internet. So we've just seen focuses and changes because of the family expertise. You know, my parents uh, throughout my life have never really pushed me to, to come to work here. Uh, in fact, they've always kind of wanted me to go do my own things, especially uh, first. I think they had the hopes of me joining the company, but uh, it was never uh, projected to me. Um, when I started working in advertising in 2005, um, I kind of got the perspective of what businesses were doing in terms of sending out work to ad agencies. And I figured that with my skills combined with my interests, I really had a vested interest in uh, you know, coming to the company and making it work. When I first started uh, working here, my primary goal was to grow the website. And that was because even though we were selling to places around the nation, one of the problems was if a business went out of business, then they were, the customers would have no way to reach us. So by having a strong website, we we're able to really connect the collector base and also the casual consumer. And really the nice part of a family business is that you have to realize it's not isolation. You're part of a community and the ability for us to get involved in different aspects of our own community has been very rewarding. For the last 21 years, We've been very involved with the Starlight Foundation. And Starlight grants wishes for critically, chronically, terminally ill children. And Judy has done a special piece for them each year for 21 years. And we've granted over 104 wishes to children. 